It's time, time, time. She's spilling the tea. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Cardi B is now stepping in. She'll be covering the funeral and burial expenses for each victim of the tragic Bronx fire. Wow. And she wants to help alleviate the financial burdens for the families who have been affected. She said, I'm extremely proud to be from the Bronx, and I have lots of family and friends who live and work there still. So when I heard about the fire and all of the victims, I knew I needed to do something to help. I cannot begin to imagine the pain and anguish that the families of the victims are experiencing, but I hope that not having to worry about the costs associated with burying their loved ones ones will help as they move forward and heal. I send my prayers and condolences to everyone affected by this horrific tragedy. Drop on the clues bombs for Big Body. Mm-hmm. You can say a lot of things about Cardi, but you can never question her heart. Mm-hmm. Beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. All right, now there's going to be a new Medea movie on Netflix in February, and that's going to be February 25th, Tyler Perry's A Medea Homecoming. So get ready for that. It's a 10th feature film starring Medea in a major role. So, yes. I thought they stopped Medea. That's what he had said, but I guess it's the homecoming. So, you know, she's celebrating her great grandson's college graduation. And then there's some hidden secrets and family drama okay. that threaten to destroy the happy homecoming. Salute to Tyler Perry. If it ain't Y'all don't broke, be watching don't that. that. <laughs> nah, nah, I, used to, I, I grew up watching a lot of Medea because, you know, my, my mother in law and people, <laughs> like, they loved Tyler Perry. But the first Tyler Perry movie I ever saw, what was it? Diary of a Mad Black Woman. That yeah, was, that 100%. was the first one I ever saw. I never watched. I, never I actually watched Tyler went Perry to a Tyler Perry play about two years ago. It was right before COVID. Mm-hmm. I was never into Tyler Perry. We never watched Tyler Perry. Uh, the Family That Prays. That's a really good one. No, I'm gonna tell you my favorite one. It makes me cry. Daddy's Little Girl. Man, how you knew? Boy, that movie <laughs> make me cry every single time. Evan, you kind of should watch. He, they I've, never, I've never seen any of them. You should not one. Do man, a binge that watch. movie makes me cry, man. When he, especially when he go to fight the drug dealers and then they hit the car <laughs> and then he gets out with that pipe and he's like, I got to go to jail because they don't put hands on my daughter. <laughs> Boy, it just uh, drop one. It just doesn't want to ask for that. Movie. I don't even Listen, so you got to watch some of them. Oh my God, I love that. They're pretty watched, good. That's right, a good I one to start with. The family that prays is really good too. <sighs> My mama never watched that stuff. No, Daddy's Little Girl is really good. I never watched it. Makes me sad. You all right? And I love how he got the... Who fighting? I don't know. In the hallway (laughs) yelling, maybe you would close the door. (laughs) No, I love Daddy's Little Girl. Daddy's Little Girl is great. Idris Elba, Gabrielle Union is a great movie. All right, now let's talk about Moneybag Yo. He is starting his own water company. He posted $100 million mood at Vior Water. Send me your address. I'll send you a case and put you down. I'm telling you now, this is the best water in America. So get ready for that, for his uh, new water brand. Envy, don't you have a new water brand, too? Uh, yes, Positivity Water. Water is very difficult. Getting, I mean, it's a lot of competition. There's a lot of shelf space. We got on a lot of shelves, and the water is doing very, very, very well. Positivity Water, you can order it on Amazon, or uh, we have it at the Hudson. If you ever go to the airport, you can ask for it there. But it's very difficult to get in a, in a lot of, on a lot of shelves, though. Does water ever expire? Um, Yes. It does? Yeah, because sometimes it depends if you keep it in the heat. Because sometimes the plastic, you have a drink of water. But I'm talking about expiring, not leaving it in the heat. Like, is there an expiration date? No. No. Uh -uh. I'm just wondering. Mm -mm. I had no idea. What does it taste like? Never tasted water that's been in the heat? No, what does your water taste like, fool? You want to try? I say you want to see if Emmy tastes like water? (laughs) You want to try? (laughs) Are you flirting with me? No, I'm not. You You know what? Never mind. No, you can't just say crisp and refreshing. You got to (laughs) just. Jesus. You you tell me what my water tastes like. No, God. (laughs) Emmy tastes like water. Which is like water. All right, now Ari Fletcher. In the meantime, that's Money Bagio's girlfriend. She was on lip service, and here's what she had to say about the threesomes. I had sex with a woman before a man. Like I Same. really, I'm really into girls. Mm-hmm. Like on my own. Like I don't have threesomes. Like because that's what he want to do. Like that's what I want to do. You know, like you. I mean, of course he want to do it, but you know, it's like he's with it. I re- <laughs> yeah, like I really like women. Like I'm into women. Mm-hmm. So you're so, bisexual. Yeah. I dated, mm-hmm. like, I've been in a real relationship with a girl for three years. Start, start the clip over. Why? I just want to hear something in the clip. Play it again. <laughs> I had sex with a woman before a man. Like, I really, I'm really I'm really. Who said same? That was you? Like, Gigi. on my own. Like, oh, I don't have threesomes. Okay, you stop it. Like because <laughs> Look at you. You ready for some tea? Yeah, Look at you. Ready for some yee tea? I, I said, okay, Look at you. Yee. You couldn't wait. I said, okay. For the record, I've never had sex with a woman. Okay? Jesus Christ. That's, I mean, it said same. I said, okay, yee. I said it's some lip service. I'm, I'm asking. But Gigi has told that story many times. She's the first 
she lost her virginity to a woman. All right, now Chloe Bailey is. Ask the question, Envy. Go what? ahead. What? Go ahead, ask. Ask what question? Ask. What? Never ask Charlemagne, did he have. <laughs> Go ahead. Is that the question you were saying? I don't know what y'all talking about. Mm-mm. What's the question? Mm-mm. Continue on. Mm-mm. All right. Uh, Chloe Bailey is saying that music is her boyfriend. Listen to this. I love the song, and I'm so happy you guys love it too. And he's like such a good friend, and I love that song, and I was so happy to be on the album. So check it out if you have not while you wait for my new music, darlings. The new music, darlings. New music. I feel like everybody wants to know about my love life. My love life is music, darling. <laughs> so she's not dating Gunna. She was referencing her song with Gunna and telling everybody to listen to it. So, Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, now, according to reports and sources, they're saying there is some truth to all the claims that have surrounded Wendy Williams and her health. A source told Page Six that uh, it's one thing to see what we have seen in the studio, but it's another thing when certain staff members make it to her home. When the cameras and mics are off, the liquor comes out. And so other reps uh, for Wendy Williams are saying the stories about her health are inaccurate and they have dismissed rumors that she would never return to her show as speculation because some people are saying she's not coming back. Uh, They said some staffers are worried about Wendy Williams, but they still need their paychecks. And they said there's a lot of stories going around that have some truth to them. Oh, we're definitely sending sending Wendy Williams healing energy. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. All right, thank you, Miss Yee. Now, when we come back, we got the People's Choice Mix. Get your request in 800-585-1051. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. 